Somebody in the comment section was asking about using actor rig characters inside Unreal and whether they had to be rigged with an IK rig. So I'm going to show you that today. We're going to start here with not Deadpool because that's not what it is. It may look like that, but that's not what it is. So here is not Deadpool and not Deadpool is completely rigged and ready to go. So what I'm going to do is come up here where it says file and go to export and do export FBX and for target application, choose Unreal. And I'm not going to touch the textures today, but if you want to choose textures here, you could, for example, 4K. I'm just going to choose original for this and then hit export and this will pop up. I'm going to call this not Deadpool rigged. There we go. And then that will export. OK, so next we're going to need to obviously open up Unreal Engine. What I'm actually going to do is choose games third person just for the purposes of this tutorial. And let's give it a name. Not Deadpool because it's not Deadpool. And create. I'm going to go up to plugins. And we need to find auto setup. Here it is. Character creator and iClone auto setup. If you don't have this, I'll show you how to get it in a moment. I'm using version 1.25. It's asking me to restart. So let me restart. Okay, with the engine restarted, let me just show you where I got that plugin from, just in case you don't have it. So on the Reillusion website, here we have it auto setup for Unreal Engine. And it's a completely free download. You hit free download, and here it is download and then you will simply run the installer. I will do that now for you. OK, so I have clicked to open the installer and it will give you a destination folder. I suggest you use the default. It will open a file explorer like this for you. We want the auto setup for 1.25 for Unreal. In this folder, we have plugins and content. We'll come back to the content folder in a moment. Let's go into plugins and you'll find RL plugins. You need to copy this to your engine plugins folder for Unreal. So once you've done that uh, and restarted the engine, you will see it in the list of plugins. Right next, this content folder, we need to open that and this CC shaders in there. You need to copy this to your Unreal project folder. So let me do that now. Here's my project folder, uh, not Deadpool. I'm going to content and paste it in the content folder. And that's it. So with the plugin enabled and that in your project, that's it. So let's get rid of that. Now, what we need to do is go into the characters folder. And I'm going to create a new folder and um, we'll just call this AccuRig and open that. And then I want to create another folder for my character this time and call this not dead pool. I'm going to that folder and then I'm going to import into my project, my AccuRig character. Here we have the folder and where's my character? Here it is not Deadpool rigged. Open that. This dialog pops up. I'm going to choose standard shader in this case but if your character has skin etc you may want the high quality shader right so this dialog box will pop up leave skeleton set to none go to advanced use t0 as reference pose and i'm going to click on morph targets it's unlikely that the character has morph targets but it's just force of habit and then everything else is fine and then import. The character is now imported. I'm just going to do a quick save all in case we have any crashes or anything. And so if we open up, not Deadpool, what I want to quickly do is go to the skeleton icon, come down to the skeleton tree and choose show retargeting options. And I just want to double check. It's been set up correctly. Yeah. OK, I'm happy with that. OK, so we're going to need to make an IK rig for this and it's really simple. So let's close this. And because we started with a third person uh, template, we've already got characters mannequins in. But if you didn't or you say you create a blank project, go to add. Add feature or content pack. 
and choose third person and then add to project and that will give you the mannequins what I mean by this is Manny and Quinn okay right so with that said let's go to we need to go to mannequin UE4 which is the old UE4 mannequin let's pull that up for you I'm going to go to mannequin UE4 rigs and here you will find these files what I want to do is select IK UE4 mannequin the IK rig and this RTG um, UE5 to UE4 and what we're going to do is drag this into our characters folder in my case not Deadpool and copy here and now it should be in your characters folder what I'm going to do though is while we're in here is just create another folder call this rigs it's just to tidy things up a little bit and I'm going to select that IK rig and the IK retargeter and I'm going to drag them into rigs and move here this time go into the rigs folder and let's rename this to AccuRig I'll just name it AccuRig and then I will name this to UE5 AccuRig there you go okay so open up the IK and you'll be presented with the old Mane that's fine what we need to do is find our character there's mine and hit reset and save and then I'm going to do a save all as well and that's it you now have an IK rig and to show you this we'll go to the IK retargeter open it up and because we copied it over from the mannequins folder we have the old UE4 mannequin as the target we're going to actually set Accu rig there we go and now if we play an animation for example run and do it there we go you now have a character that's rigged i hope you found this useful and as soon as i have finished this room so i'm in the middle of decorating and moving wires around and i've broken wires so i'm waiting for wires to come from amazon and ebay and all that um, and my sound and visuals should improve um, so I'm going to hold off on a couple of tutorials that I need to finish because I need to record some more stuff for them one is for the metahuman eye thing that seemed to be popular and then um, I forgot what the other one is <laughs> I've been really really busy um, but yeah so I will be back with you next week, hopefully, with everything sorted and um, bringing some more tutorials. Let's get 2023 right. Thanks for watching.